you tell me some of your will you tell me some of your history or background? Sure. My background. Originally I'm from Algeria, North Africa, and I lived in different part of the world. Some of them were France, Dubai, Syria, Lebanon, etc., etc., <laughs> and the U.S. today. <laughs> and in all this country, I've been doing the same kind of job, was actually life coaching and um, beautician. I was helping people, you know, feel better. It wasn't just about applying a product. It was about you know, a lot of people come for different reasons. You know, they feel, oh, I need to go to I have a, a spa day because I'm not feeling good or because I had a bad day or I had the bad news or anything. Right. And by you being with this person that give you this service, you know, what, what service service you mean, telling you, taking you to a beautiful place, telling you what's what's amazing about your skin, you know, before telling you what's worse about it, you're already having a worse day. It's enough, right? And all that you need to remember during your facial is you're going to a place where it's safe and where you can be, be yourself. You know, this is the first thing is being yourself. It means lying down and let go and let somebody else taking over, you know, enjoy the ride, relax, breathe. You know, go through the journey of having an hour in a spa with me, of course. <laughs> okay, so I love that. Thank you. So um, I I was told that you were um, known as the, the face whisperer. Can you tell me a little bit more about some of your younger history and how it led you into working in this area uh, of beauty and uh, well-being? Sure. The story is kind of very interesting. Um, my mom was one of the first estheticians in Algeria, North Africa. And when I'm saying one of the first, in a time people there weren't certified as an esthetician. But actually having um, a place where women can gather together and have a good time and, you know, like um, eat good vegetable fruit and, and juices and putting cucumber in their skin, putting cucumber in their eyes, in their body and eating cucumber. The way how my mom used to do it was really interesting. She used to, if she want to use an avocado mask in your skin, what she's going to do, she's going to cut half, feed you half avocado and the other half putting it in your skin. And she was always treating the in and out. And I was always cold. I was the last, last child from six. I was the number six kid. And I was always asked, I want, I love that, I love the attention, right? Who does it? And I went and I was like, oh, can I help? Can I help? And my mom would say, yeah, sure. And the client, you know, her, her client's friend would come and say, yeah, here, help me with my skin. And, and I used to put my hand on their face. And of course I washed them or my mom would scream at me <laughs> and I put them in, in, in their face and I keep, and they feel so warm. And after the lady come and she's like, oh my God, you're like a skin whisperer. My skin looks so amazing, like so resting, so relaxed. And it's like just the touch and the purity of me wanted to put my heart and really help them purify that. And it's called a skin whisper. Then they called me, what is the skin whisper today? She's not here. And this is where I choose to take over this tradition, if you want. But for me, it was more was passion was really creating a place where people can be around someone whose energy is so elevated and bringing you up. It's like a champagne, battle of champagne. When you open it, you hear them, boom, right? There is this explosion. And this is how it is for me when you are inside the room. I see you as a battle of champagne that I want to, boom, open <laughs> and make the bubble going and happy and and everything is not about just adding the magic inside the jar. It's actually how I can make you feel when I talk to you and you know what I love about you and and so much and elevating your your spirit. And this is what I took over and this is what I love to do what I do. <laughs> so you you were in France. I love that too, thank you. You were in France yes. and you were working 
in this area in France and, and uh, Dubai and Syria and Dubai Lebanon. And, okay, yeah. can you share some of that? Yeah, this is what interesting. This is what I learned with all these years. Um, you know, everybody have the same problem. Everybody is tired. Everybody have wrinkle. Everybody have expression line. Everybody have higher pigmentation. Everybody have acne. Everybody have stress breakout. Then everybody have the same thing. You know, like in any country, in any place, it's the same thing. But the only thing was different. I noticed in these places was actually the air that they breathed, you know, and uh, the food that they eat, the spices, the taste, the smell, everything was different, it wasn't the same thing. Then um, I noticed that product that work in France, they don't work here in the US, and product that work in Dubai, they don't work in France, because the climate is completely, completely different. It's like being here and being in another state, if you are in Arizona, for example, right? Let's use Arizona. If you are in Arizona, it's really hot all the time, right? And like Vegas, your poor are more, you know, you, you are always exposing the sun and the product you use is different comparing to Washington. But what I loved about it is the mentality are different. The need is the same. And everybody want to be taken care of. If it's in France, in Algeria, in Lebanon, it doesn't matter which country. We all want the same thing. We all want to be taken care of by someone. We all want to take care of ourselves. We all want to give to ourselves back because we are always giving, right? We were taught in this life that receiving is not a good thing. It's only giving, giving, but actually it's balance. You have to give and receive. This is how you complete your journey.